Hi and welcome to this edition of Out of the Box. My name is Paul. Today we're going to be having a look at what is in this brown box. This is another HP Aruba Instant on Access Point. This is the AP11D, the uh, desktop um, access point. I'm going to show you a little bit more um, about it as we go through, but this mainly show you what's in the box. So here's the access point, which we'll talk about in a minute. You're going to get a faceplate, some screws to fit the faceplate. You're going to get probably two meters of a flat Ethernet cable you are going to get your Get Started Guide. The Instant On is a subscription-free, license-free, centrally managed in Aruba's cloud access point um, system. So it's access points and switches are part of the Instant On um, family. Great price, you don't need to install any software. You can do this with an app on your phone or you can do it with a web browser. Within a couple of minutes, all you need is the code on the front of this sticker, which you take off afterwards um, and uh, the URL or the app from here, and you can get yourself going. You don't need to install any software, any controller running on your network or anything like that. So it's a great product. So you get your Get Started Guide, you're gonna get your warranty, comes with two years warranty as well, so great deal on that. And you're gonna get your instruction and an about guide. So this desktop model here is a two by two access point, a two by two wave two. What does that mean? Two antenna, two spatial streams, what does wave two do? Wave two gives us beam forming. Beam forming is the ability for this access point to have an idea of where the other connecting devices are around it and focus the RF signal when it's its time to talk to that device. Therefore, in theory, should give it a better connectivity and therefore better throughput. All right, this runs 2.4 and 5 gigahertz simultaneously. It supports the wireless AC protocol and is backwards compatible with ABGNN. So pretty good. Uh, format of everything there that you want in one box. So this is the desktop model, comes like this with the stand already fixed. I'm actually gonna take the stand off because it helped me just describe this a little bit more. So there are two screws, probably just turn it upside down and show you there, there are two mounting screws. Uh, we take that off, all right, and here's the actual unit itself. Why do we wanna do this? Right, well, on the bottom is four ports. This is actually a three port switch it is not four ports. This port here is used to either power it by ethernet, um, which you can do here, or you do need to mains power it, which you can do over this side. So over here, you've got mains and USB. So this needs a mains power pack, or it needs to be connected to a PoE device, so a switch or an injector. They don't come in the box, so you do need to buy those extra. Obviously there is an instant on set of um, switches, um, or you can buy a PoE injector or the power pack to go with it. So if this is being powered from the underside, which is here, then this port here won't be active. All right, it'll be your mains or your ethernet feed in here. Why is this interesting? Over on the back, there is an option. You get a small connector uh, cable here um, that actually drives the power. So it takes the power from port one here and drives it into the back. Why is this interesting and why does I'm um, dismantle it because you get a faceplate. This will fit over most data points that you maybe already have in your property and maybe a wired back to a comms cabinet um, or a patch panel or something like that. So you could take this, uh, take the cable um, out the wall, snip it, put a normal RJ45 connector on it, mount this plate on the wall with the screws provided. You would then uh, disconnect this cable here all right, and directly into this port here, directly into this port here, you would plug that ethernet cable. This then securely fits into place. And now on the wall, we have a small access point, but we also have a three port switch. Remember that first, that port there won't be used. We have a three port switch here um, that you can use as well. So maybe that's connect your smart switch. Maybe it's a printer or a computer, all of those types of things. So a really versatile access point. But remember you've got three usable ports, the one here is to provide the power if you're doing power over Ethernet. So this is the HP uh, AP11D. Do head on over to our YouTube channel. We've got loads more bo box openings on firewalls, networking device and wireless equipment. We've got how-to guides, how to set up your instant on uh, network, how to set up point-to-point -point wireless, how to extend your wireless to a different property, all of those type of things. So do subscribe and stay up to date. But hopefully that's been useful. We've been looking at here um, the HP Aruba Instant On, the access point. This is the AP11D desktop model.